What is the story behind Guy Fawkes' last signature? Can you tell what happened to Guy Fawkes just by seeing his last signature? With his involvement with the infamous gunpowder plot, his life was put in danger. Though in the present times, November 5 is celebrated as a festive event. Guy Fawkes, on the other hand, had a gruesome fate. Due to the mistreatment done by the Protestant government to the Roman Catholics, Guy Fawkes, also known as Guido Fawkes, joined the provincial English Catholic group led by Robert Catesby to plot King James I's assassination. The group planned to implant explosives under the House of Lords on November 5, 1605. Since Fox was a military veteran, he was tasked to ignite the explosives. However, an anonymous letter alerted the authorities of the planned assassination. That's why on the night of November 4, when an inspection was conducted, Fox was caught by the authorities in the cellar carrying matches and 36 barrels of gunpowder. Once Fox was apprehended, he was interrogated but refused to give the real account of the plan. He even gave a fake name of John Johnson and was unwilling to reveal his accomplices' names, insisting that this plan was his alone. Even though King James I was impressed with Fox's resolution, he was ordered to be interrogated or tortured at the Tower of London. The torture started from light to severe that on November 7, before continuing, we would really appreciate a like to this video. If you also want to see similar content in the future, consider subscribing and activating the notification bell. Thank you for your support. Now, let's go on. Fox helplessly gave his real identity and the names of his accomplices. The torture must have been brutal since it was evident in Fox's signatures. They were barely legible. The signature was used as a seal after the prisoners dictated their confessions, following the Ridolfi plot of 1571. Fox was believed to be tortured using the manacles, then the brutal torture act. Seven of Fox's accomplices were arrested they were all sentenced to execution on January 31, 1606. Fox appealed not guilty despite his confession, but his appeal was not granted. They were declared guilty of treason and must be drawn backward by a horse with their heads on the ground until death. After that, their bodies will be brutally gutted, butchered, and publicly displayed. After his comrades' gruesome death, Fox asked the king and the state for forgiveness. Still, his execution was continued. But when Fox was approaching the news, he suddenly fell into the stairs, breaking his neck, and died instantly. It was unclear if Fox jumped intentionally or the days of torture weakened him. Regardless of his death, his body was still quartered and was distributed to the corners of the kingdom as a warning for future treacherous acts. On the same date, the parliament declared November 5 a day of thanksgiving, since the king triumphantly survived his assassination. The citizens lighted bonfires, fireworks, and burned the effigies of Fox. Today, Fox's face is used as the face of political activism. He is the inspiration for the mass character from V for Vendetta. If you want to see the continuation of this video, click the following links for more fantastic content.